Today on the Technivers channel, we'll be taking a look at the all new Kira 4.11, looking at some of its new features, and going over some tips and tricks. So stick around. Welcome everybody, and here we are in the all new Kira 4.11. It is technically not all new, but they have changed quite a few things. So let's take a look at the new features menu. So if you open Kira for the first time after downloading, you will be presented with this screen. If you'd like to take a look after accidentally closing it or exiting it or skipping over some stuff, just go to help and click new features. In this version of Kira, this is 4.11, they've done a complete UI refresh. Now, not necessarily a complete, as they state, UI refresh, but they have changed over a hundred icons. And let's take a look at what that looks like now. So before, the experimental and special modes icons were very similar and easy to confuse. They have differentiated those by making special modes a star and experimental is still kind of the beaker test tube kind of button. They also added two nozzles to the dual extrusion. That is a little bit easier to see. Before it used to look like the mirror icon and that was a little confusing as well. Most of these are pretty self-explanatory, but they're a little bit cleaner and I like them quite a bit. One of the biggest visual changes that I noticed right off the bat was this little guy up here. And you can actually change this by altering the color of your PLA. So let's go, uh, let's grab, or the color of your filament. I guess it doesn't matter if it's uh, PLA. And it does take a second to skip over. I have a lot of stuff running, so this is not Kira's fault. This is my video editor and my video recorder and everything else that I have going on. But you'll see that it changes the icon with the color of the filament, which is kind of cool. Um, super simple little thing, but it's things like that that add depth and character, and I really appreciate. You'll also notice over here on the left side, if I select my model, you can see that they've changed most of the icons having to do with model manipulation. They are a little bit more self-explanatory just by looking at them now, and I think overall that this part is a vast improvement, especially the little support blocker button. You can now tell just from looking at the button what that does. It's got supports on one side and an X on the other. I really, really like that. I think it's clean. So let's go back up here. The next thing they'll talk about is the digital library integration. If you don't have an Ultimaker machine, this means diddly squat to you because it doesn't work for machines that aren't Ultimaker machines. So we're gonna glaze over that and skip to the next part. This is another big addition here. So this is monotonic ordering. And what this means is instead of skipping around like it used to when doing top and bottom surfaces, it will do them as close to in line as it can, okay? Uh, mono as in single, as in monotonous, as in the same thing over and over again. It's going to start in this corner and fill that the best it can because when you reach these intersections where it goes back and reprints, especially on top surfaces, you can kind of see that and it leaves artifacts. So with this, you get a much smoother top and bottom surface and it does work really, really well. So I definitely, definitely recommend checking this out especially on large prints with flat surfaces on the top and bottom next you have talking additive now this is something that most users i know probably won't check out but i highly encourage you to jump over there and take a listen they talk about where kira started and where it's headed in the future so if you're curious about what's coming down the road for kira and ultimaker slicer talking additive is the place to go um lastly they have a little section here entitled get more information because if you'd like to see things, they do have a blog post and they always want your feedback on GitHub. So it's nice of them to throw this little flare piece in here in the what's new section. Uh, I feel like a couple people might miss it, but this right here is one of the biggest things, reporting your feedback on GitHub. They have told me they really, really appreciate that. Um, and it's really the only way to improve the system is by telling them what's wrong with it. So if you can submit a bug report and give them your feedback, they are pretty good about trying to take care of things. And they also, they also accept feature requests, although it's not as common that they implement those. I have seen a couple that were really, really good that they have taken to heart. So that is pretty much the gist of it. So let's talk about a couple of quick Kira tips. Now we already talked about one changing the color of your filament here. What if I want to keep it on that same generic PLA and change the material color? Well, I have a video in my Kira questions playlist that's specifically dedicated to this. But if you'd like to know how, let's go ahead and take a look at the settings up here. And I'll show you real quickly how to change your display color for the filament that you're using. So we're going to go to material under extruder. And we're going to go to manage materials. 
And the material that I selected and have chosen right now is going to show in red. There is a little checkbox in here that you can choose what color that's going to show up in. Now, the default color for that is yellow, and I tend to leave it in yellow. Uh, but some people like to skip around and see what else there is, and, and I don't dissuade people from that because, uh, you know, your visual aesthetic is not necessarily mine. So what you find appealing is entirely up to you. But let's go ahead and change this back to yellow since it's red right now. And I like, I, I also go with green sometimes. Maybe we'll change it to green. I like, I like the green. Um, I've also used Kira Blue a couple times. That makes it look pretty, pretty normal, although... There are some colors you want to stay away from, such as a dark blue or this red color here itself, because you're not going to see the overhangs as well. And let's see here. Oh, it's changing all of those, but it doesn't... Let's pick a different one. I'm having issues. Custom material. There we go. All right, so now I have the color selector dialog box open. Uh, and I can choose whatever color I want. So we're going to go with that green color. And it changed. Okay, so we're going to close this. And in order to get that to show, we have to go back to our 3D Fuel PLA. Nope, it was custom, wasn't it? Custom PLA, custom material. I believe it was the top one. And there you can see it shows up in green. And because that's working properly, we can now see our overhangs in red. So you're also going to want to avoid this teal color, and you're going to want to avoid too dark of a blue because if you pass through the build plate, it shows up in blue. That is going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you check out that Kira questions playlist. I'll put a card up for it in the corner. If you have any questions about Kira, please, please, please drop me a line. I love answering them in video form, so I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. And that's going to be it for this one, guys. Technivorous out. Stick around guys, I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here, and if you haven't already, subscribe, 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 make sure that you smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one, Technivorous out.